Hello, good day. My name is Sir Arnold B. Medina of Hagunoy West Central School. We are now in quarter one, module one of our lesson one, recognizing useful and harmful material. The following are some reminders in using this module. One, use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. Number two, don't forget to answer what I know before moving on the other activities, including the module. Number three, read the instruction carefully before doing each task. Four, observe honesty and integrity in doing the task and checking your answers. Five, finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. Six, return this module to your teacher facilitator once you are through with it. In the first activity, you are going to determine which of the activities below is desirable or harmful. Write letter D if desirable o mabuting gawain and write letter H if harmful o nakasasamang mga gawain. Number one, placing the biodegradable waste in a compost pit. Ito ba ay harmful or desirable. Number two, smelling the fumes exhausted by cars. Is ito ba ay harmful or desirable? Number three, using broken glass to cut paper. Ito ba ay harmful or desirable? Number four, covering the textbook with acetate or plastic cover. Is it harmful or desirable? And last number five, burning plastic bottles. Is it harmful or desirable? On page two of your module, activity letter B, you are going to match the usefulness and the materials in each column. The pictures in column one are the materials you are commonly see at home or in school. You are going to match the image of material listed in column 1 with their usefulness o kapakinabangan and harmfulness in column 2 o yung kanilang masamang na idudulot. And number 1, listed of materials. Number 1, paint. Number 2, detergent. Number 3, insecticide. Number 4, oil. Number 5, spoiled milk o yung panis na gatas. On the second row, usefulness and harmfulness. Dito naman nakalagay yung kapakinabangan nila o yung masamang na itudulot. Letter A, kills insect and pest. B, cleans dirt, clothes. C, used in cooking food. Letter D, causes poisoning and death. And letter E, protects the wall and roofs. What's in? This is a brief drill or review to help you link the current lesson with the previous one. You're going to classify the following materials usually found at home o yung nakikita natin sa bahay at materials usually found in school or yung materials na nakikita natin sa ating mga silid-aralan. The words inside the box are cooking oil, armchair, bed, plug, demonstration table, bell, frying pan o kawali, books, laundry soap o sabon panlaba, chalkboard, mosquito repellent, and class record. You're going to put this word inside or under the materials usually found at home or material usually found in school. Susulat na nyo dito kung ito ay usually found in school. Kung makikita nyo ba ito sa bahay, dito nyo ito isusulat sa ilalim. And materials usually found in school, kung ito ba ay nakikita natin sa loob ng silid-aralan, dito natin sa ilalim isusulat ang mga words. How do materials become useful 
or harmful. Materials are said to be useful when they serve their purpose. They have properties such as durability, flexibility, elasticity, hardiness, and resistant to water, heat, or acid. Most of the useful materials can be reused and recycled. For example, a container for solid or liquid, when it's already empty, it can still be used for other purposes such as flower vase, a coin bank, or house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that make it reusable. Ang mga useful materials ay ang mga bagay na ating na -re recycle pa o na -re reuse sa halip na ating itong itapon. Ang mga materials na ito ay nagiging mas kapakipakinabang sa atin, naiiwasan pa ang mga polusyon at kalat sa ating kapaligiran. Some useful materials may also bring hazards. For example, a broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present in things you commonly use such as paint, cleaners, fumes, gels, or powders. These materials may bring harm to your health, environment, and other organisms when not used properly. That's why we should be careful when handling and using different materials. If you are not careful when handling materials, it can cause hazards. For example, yung mga kutsilyo na matatalim, ito ay useful sa pagluluto. Pero, maaari ka nitong mahiwa at masugatan. When not used properly. Another example, match o yung posporo. Ito ay useful sa pagluluto din natin at paggawa ng apoy. Pero, pag hindi natin ito naitabi o naitago ng maayos at napaglaruan ng mga bata, maaari ito makagawa ng apoy. Maaaring masunog ang bahay o magkasunog sa inyong barangay. Sa makatuwid, ang mga useful materials pala ay pwede rin maging harmful materials. When not properly used o hindi natin nagagamit ng tama. Narito ang wastong pagdidispose o pagtatapon ng mga harmful materials. On page 5 of your module, what's more? Activity number 1. Classify the different materials found in the word pool below as useful o makapakipakinabang or harmful o maaaring makasama sa atin. Use the following table as guide. Afterward, answer the following questions. Inside the word pool, ito ang mga word na sa loob ng word pool. Old newspaper, candy wrappers, drain batteries, o yung mga battery na wala ng laman o lobat na, vegetable peelings, balat ng mga gulay, food cartons, empty shampoo bottles, Single-use plastic bag, single-use plastic water bottles, empty hair gel container, empty mayonnaise jar, yung glass, and on the uh, table, on the first table is useful materials. If you think the word in the full word is a useful, isusulat mo dito sa ilalim ng useful. Kung sa tingin mo naman ito ay nakasasama, nakasasakit, mapanganib, ilagay mo naman ito sa ilalim ng harmful materials. Is gawin ito sa inyong answer sheet. At ito naman ang following questions. Number one, which materials are useful? Alin daw sa mga materials na yun ang kapakipakinabang? When do they become useful? Kailan daw sila nagiging useful? Question number two, which materials are harmful? Aling materials daw ang nakasasama? When do they become harmful? Kailan sila nagiging nakasasama o mapangani? You can post this video so that you will have enough time to answer this activity. Activity number two, 
classify whether the materials below are useful o kapakipakinabang or harmful o may masamang na idudulot o nakasasama. Put a check mark on the appropriate column. Afterward, answer the following questions. Lalagyan lang natin ng check do sa ilalim ng useful kung ito ay useful at do naman ang check sa harmful or waste kung ito ay harmful or waste. Materials number one. Empty bottle made into plant pots. Ito ba ay useful or ito ay harmful? Kung ito ay useful, iti-check ninyo sa ilalim ng useful. Kung ito ay harmful, iti-check naman ninyo sa ilalim ng harmful. Number two, fruit peelings converted into fertilizer. Ito ba ay useful o harmful? Number three, expired medicine in the cabinet o yung mga gamot na expired na, luma na. Ito ba ay useful o harmful? Number four, old newspaper made into flower base. Is it useful or harmful? Number five, broken glass is scattered on the floor. Yung mga basag na salamin nakakalat sa ating mga uh, sahig. Answer the following questions. Question number one. What are the useful materials in activity 2? Ano daw yung mga useful materials na nabanggit o nilagyan mo ng check doon sa activity 2? Question number 2. How do empty bottles, fruit peelings, old newspaper become useful? Kailan daw ito nagiging useful o may kapakipakinabang sa atin? How do they become harmful? Kailan naman daw ito nagiging harmful o masama sa atin? Question number 3. How can you maximize the use of useful materials that you have identified? Paano mo daw magiging mas kapakipakinabang ang mga useful materials na ito na iyong na-identified? Ano ang mga activities na maaari mong gawin? At question number 4, how can you uh, minimize the hazard of harmful materials? Paano mo daw maiiwasan ang mga panganib na dala ng mga harmful materials? Write only your answer in your answer sheet o sasagutang papel. Sagot lamang ang isusulat. Activity number 3. Identify which of the materials below is useful or harmful by drawing a happy face for useful and sad face for harmful. Sa inyong answer sheet o sagutang papel, iguhit lamang ang happy face o masayang mukha kapag ito ay nagpapakita ng useful o kapakipakinabang. Iguhit naman ang sad face o malungkot na mukha kung ito ay nagpapakita ng harmful o nakasasama. Based on activity number 3, when does a material become useful and when does it become harmful? You can pause this video so that you will have enough time to answer this activity. Open your module on page 7, what I have learned. Complete the paragraph using the word in the box. Upang makompleto ang pangungusap o paragraph na nasa ibaba, pupunan mo ito ng mga salita na nasa loob ng box o kahon. Tandaan, isulat mo lamang ang tamang sagot sa iyong sagutang papel o answer sheet. List 5 different materials used at home and in school. Write a sentence describing how can the materials be useful or harmful. Afterward, answer the follow-up question. Sa first column, under materials, mag-iisip ka at isusulat mo sa papel ang limang bagay na makikita mo sa bahay at sa loob ng eskwelahan. Sa pangalawang column, under sentence, isusulat mo naman o ipapaliwanag kung bakit ito naging useful o kaya bakit ito naging harmful. Sagutan din ang tanong na ito sa iyong sagutang papel o answer sheet. Based on the list, how do you properly dispose harmful materials? Sa naisulat mo daw na harmful materials na makikita sa bahay at eskwelahan, Paano mo daw ito maitatapon ng wasto?
For our assessment, write a check mark if the materials are useful or a wrong mark or X if they are harmful. Isulat lamang ang tamang sagot sa inyong sagutang papel o answer sheet. Kung ang pangungusap ay nagpapakita ng useful o kapakipakinabang, check ang inyong isusulat sa inyong papel. Kung ito naman ang nagpapakita ng harmful o panganib, X naman ang inyong isusulat sa inyong sagutang papel o answer sheet. Maaari mong i-post ang video na ito upang magaroon ka ng oras sa pagsasagot. Para sa ating additional activities o karagdagang gawain, copy and fill in the table. Enumerate some useful and harmful materials that can be found at home or in school. If useful, give example on how you can use it. If harmful, explain how you can dispose of the materials properly. Sa unang column, under materials, are useful materials at harmful materials. Maglalagay ka ng tatlong useful materials na makikita sa bahay at eskwelahan at tatlong harmful materials na makikita naman sa bahay at eskwelahan din. Under column 2, ways. Ways to use at ways to dispose. Paano ito ginagamit para sa useful at kung paano naman ito dapat itapon para naman sa harmful.